to start up today's makeup tutorial, we're going to prep the skin with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is a very rich and luxurious cream. So you would automatically assume it's just for people with dry skin, but it's actually geared towards normal to oily skin types. And I have combination skin, which means I've got an oily T-zone and I've got normal skin on my cheeks. This is a brilliant way to hydrate and plump your skin ahead of makeup. Next I'm going in with this Vichy Colour Corrector in the shade Apricot and I'm taking this underneath my eyes. Apricot is a really good shade for those of you that have kind of dark spots, hyperpigmentation and discoloration of the skin. However, if you've got more bluish tones to your skin then you can use the yellow tone that they do. Similarly, if you've got redness in the skin like I have here, I'm going to use the green colour corrector just below my nose and above my top lip. Now when you're using a colour corrector, you only want to use a light layer so that it neutralizes the red. You're not looking for coverage and you're not looking to see the green sitting on the skin. You only need enough so that the skin starts to look very neutral. If you can still see green, you're using too much. I'm using a new foundation today. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Although this isn't a new product, it's new to me. So it's new here on my channel. I've showed you the shade Light Tan, but I'm actually using Golden Beige and I'm gonna use Light Tan in a moment to lighten the center of the face. I'm really, really, really impressed with this foundation. It actually goes on quite similar to the Armani Luminous Silk. There is about 29 or 30 shades available in this foundation and it's full coverage, but without the weight, it just goes on like skin, but gives you beautiful coverage. The shade I've used has given my face colour to match my body because I keep my face out of the sun and then I'm going in with a lighter shade to add some dimension to the skin. Using one colour can make the skin look quite flat but we only want a subtle change to the centre of the face just so it looks a bit more natural. I've applied the foundation with a damp beauty blender and because it is full coverage you can use this as a concealer as well as foundation so just build it up where you want the additional coverage. As you can see, we have a lovely flawless base. We now need to set that with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. I'm just using my sponge dipped into the powder to press that underneath the eyes. Because it is slightly damp, you don't get so much of a powdery finish. So I'm mostly concentrating that on the center of the face where I tend to get oily, but I'll also place some just along the jaw just to make sure that my face isn't too shiny in this area. Laura Mercier have just released a Rose Glow collection and I'm taking the shade Forbidden Rose which is a shimmering copper rose. I'm taking that onto the outer half of the mobile lid and into the socket. The brush I'm using which is an absolute dream to work with, it makes life so easy, is the Zoeva 220 Luxe Grand Shader Brush. As you can see it blends this out like a dream. It's a huge brush which might be a little bit intimidating for most people but if you can get your hands on it definitely give it a go because it is so easy to work with. So now I've blended that out I'm going to reapply concentrating this colour on the outer V. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and initially buff the colour inwards so it's covering a little bit more of the mobile lid and then I'll also pull the colour out a little bit just to give the eye a bit of shape. Now when I tell you these do not come off easily, I had to use my nail on my hand when I swatched these to get it off with some washing up liquid. It was so hard to remove. Now I use an oil based eye makeup remover when I'm taking off eyeshadows so that does remove this off the eyes really really easily but when I tell you that they're not going to move once they're in place you can be sure if you've got oily eyelids if you have hooded eyes they are not going to migrate once they're in place and because they are a cream they blend so beautifully you can even do this with your fingers the next shade I'm taking is called bed of roses and this is a metallic pink rose I'm very subtly applying this on the inner half of the socket line and again going back in with that same blending brush, keeping it in the socket line but buffing it backwards and down slightly just to soften it so there's no seam but I'm not taking it up towards the eyebrow. Then I'm taking the shade Wild Rose which is a beautiful shimmering champagne rose, it's my favourite of the whole set. We're placing this from the very inner corner of the eyes, we're also going to buff it back to meet the Forbidden Rose shade. So the Forbidden Rose will then end up just covering the outer third of the mobile lid and we'll get a beautiful ombre effect from the Champagne Rose into the Shimmering Copper. My preference is to give this two washes of colour. 
not only does this sandwich the shades making them last a lot longer but you also get more of an intense color payoff I always like to go in with a little bit of bronzer through the socket. It adds a very subtle smoke to the eyes. It also ties in the eye makeup with the face makeup because we warm the skin up and the eyes kind of match. You don't want to overpower the rose shade to so be really, really subtle when doing this. And you don't want to place it over the top of the rose. You just want to buff it into the seam of the eyeshadow. Here I'm going back in with the wild rose and placing it on the very inner corner of the eyes. This adds a really beautiful highlight. It catches the light when you move your head around and because it is more of a candlelight glow rather than a metallic finish, it really is beautifully soft. Again, go in with a small brush just to blend any seams. Now we want to frame the eye, so I'm taking the Forbidden Rose underneath the outer half of the lower eyelashes and then just softly buffing that out with my finger. One thing I always say is to make sure you connect that with the outer corner of the top lid so there's no gap and it really does frame the eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Bed of Roses which is what we applied in this area but on the top lid and we're just going to connect that with the champagne shade that we've got on the inner corner. So again we've got that nice gradient of the rose tones. Eyeliner is completely optional. I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Dark Brown. And starting on the outer third of the eye, I'm going to create a really lovely wing. But I'm also going to be softening this with eyeshadow, so don't worry about it being super perfect because we are going to soften the edges. I know not everybody can pull off a wing. Sometimes hooded eyes can't really do the wing, but you can do this with soft eyeshadow and you can just use a angled liner brush to stamp some matte brown eyeshadow in the same area and just keep it very, very soft. And you can also forego the wing, you don't have to do that. You could just line the outer third of the top lash line just to make the root of the eyelashes look fuller. Here you can see I'm using a small detailer brush to softly diffuse the eyeliner so it looks a lot softer. Next I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers. I'm just giving them a quick pinch just to lift the lashes because we're going to be applying some falsies and they're going on the underside of the eye. So that is why I'm curling them first. And that's why I'm using the brown liquid liner to tight line the eye. Next I'm going in with some of the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This seems to be a cult classic for so many people and I've never used it, but my eyelashes aren't in the best state at the moment. They are going for a bit of an eyelash shed, so I'm not going to judge the mascara until my eyelashes are all back and well. Next, I'm taking the Classic Eye Powder Pencil in Classic Brown by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm running this along the waterline. Again, I like to apply two layers of this because it really helps to kind of sandwich that eyeliner in place. And I'm also gonna drag it down into the root of the lower eyelashes. And then I'm adding some mascara and next I'm going in with these Kiss Full Scara Lashes. These come with a bonding glue that you first apply to your eyelashes. Now I like to apply it to mascara because I find that it comes off my natural lashes a lot easier than when you apply it directly to your natural lash, which I find can still be quite difficult to take off even with the remover. So my tip is to apply some mascara first. As you can see though, the eyelashes go on so easily once that bonding glue is in place. They just kind of stick to it and secure in the right area. So you don't even have to blink onto the lashes. The bonder glue just catches that base of the lash and it just adheres the length of your natural lashes. So now I'm going to apply some bronzer to the skin. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer and I believe this is the medium shade. It's really lovely and I'm using my 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush by Zoeva. I love that this is an angled brush so it sinks into the hollows of the cheeks. It's also wide enough to apply to the neck and also around the hairline. For blush, I'm going to use this Orgasm palette by NARS. This is gorgeous. And I'm taking these two shades with a little bit of this mauve tone and I'm applying this on the apples of the cheeks and pulling the color backwards. Now this does have a very subtle shimmer to it. It's not like shimmery particles, but it will add a glow to the skin as well. So it's not matte. For lips, I'm taking the Pericone MD No Makeup Lipstick. This is a solid to serum anti-aging lip treatment. And the idea is it just gives you a hydrated, natural, rosy glow to the lips. It's so perfect for those that don't want to wear lipstick but just needs a very subtle wash of colour. 
And that completes today's rose smoky eye. I hope you love it. It's so beautiful. It's the perfect kind of daytime smoke. Feel free to tweak it how you like. You can take away the eyeliner. You can just go with the colors and maybe some soft lashes. As always, all the products I've used will be listed and linked in the description bar. Don't forget to come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram and I will see you next week.